Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon's Keep is back. If you play Borderlands 2, you might be familiar with this DLC. This time though, it's going to be a standalone game, but much more is going to be included. I'm going to say this now, this is not going to be an add-on to Borderlands 2. Instead, it's going to be a whole separate game that you download. The cool thing is, is new things will be included, such as custom character heads, uh, some new weapons, and the rainbow chest. And on top of that, this game will be free for everybody until November 16th. So no matter the platform you're playing on, be sure to download this. It's a free download, I mean, why not? Uh, after November 16th though, it will be a $10 sale. So again, be sure to pick it up before then. Alright, onto the content we saw in the trailer. If you guys have played the DLC in Borderlands 2, then you're familiar with the story. But for those who aren't, this is a D&D styled adventure, and Tina is in control of the way it unfolds. Now, I don't want to say too much more because if you haven't played it, I don't want to spoil it, but it is a fun adventure. You can choose between these six Borderlands 2 Vault Hunters, and your adventure is going to start all the way back at level 1. Of course, this will be co-op, so if you do want to play with a buddy, you can do that. As for the new stuff, you can see here we do have a new head for all the characters. Uh, at this point in time, we don't know how to unlock them just yet. Right here, we get a look at the rainbow chest. And at the moment, we don't know exactly what this thing is all about. Uh, it could be the typical golden chest that's included in most of the Borderlands games, or it could be something entirely different. This is just a guess, but maybe it's the way to farm the new weapons that are included. As you might know, there is the Dragon's Raid boss in the DLC in Borderlands 2, so maybe when you kill them you get a rainbow key or something, or they'll give them out in social media. I have no idea, but either way, the chest does look pretty cool. This is a really short trailer, so there's not a whole lot to dissect from it, but the final thing I want to point out is the ending screen. Right there you can see a wyvern which was shown off in the Wonderlands trailer, so it has me thinking we might see this wyvern in the standalone game. Heck, maybe we'll see a bunch of new enemies in the standalone. I do want to mention that this just came out today, I have not played it yet, I have no idea what to expect. Like are we going to have a true Vault Hunter mode, ultimate Vault Hunter mode, uh, the dragon's raid boss, is that going to be revamped? Does the grog nozzle still exist? I mean, we'll have to wait and see on that. Anyways, that's going to be it for the trailer. Now I know there is going to be quite a few people who might be upset over this because it's not really a whole new thing of content, but the reasoning for this is to catch people up on the story for Attack on Dragon's Keep, so that when Wonderlands drops in March, people will be familiar with the story. Also, this standalone game is free until the 16th, so no foul there. Be sure to download it before then if you want to play it for yourself. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments below. Personally, I am looking forward to it because the Attack on Dragon's Keep was one of my favorite DLCs, and to play this as a standalone from level 1 is a new experience, really. Also, I'm really curious about the new things that were added. I think that's going to be it, so if you guys did enjoy the video, then please be sure to leave a like because that'd be awesome, and if you guys really enjoyed it, be sure to sub. You guys have a great day, and I will see you all later. Peace out.